Hi folks, my name is Moss for Lockmaker360 and I'm building a YouTube playlist about Arduino fundamentals and in the previous video we are on the software side and we talk about uh, how you can write as cats and the four main building blocks to write as cats are uh, sequence, selection, iteration and interrupts and so far we covered uh, sequence and selection and in this video we're going to talk about iteration and that's a looping in this video we cover the for loop the while loop and the do while loop here i am in the uh, arduino simulation software and if you are new to this uh, watch the first video of this uh, arduino fundamental series it's a uh, part one about the sequence and in that video i explain how you can set up the this environment it's uh, free why would i use a loop if every arduino sketch has one big mother loop you may ask well if you know how to build loops then you can save lots of time for example in uh, this sketch i set up uh, some leds and I set the LEDs over here and here inside uh, the cell app we have to set the pin mode for every LED and that's like five lines of code over here but we can do this with a loop as well let's common out those lines we do this in, with our for loop and we start our for loop with uh, the keyword for and then quotations and inside the quotations we place three arguments and in the first argument you build a data type and in this case we make a integer and we call it i and we give it the value of 2 so the start value and in the second argument we are telling the for loop for how long it has to loop and so this is our end value as long as i is as long as i is smaller than 7 so we telling the for loop that it has to loop as long as i is smaller than 7 and the third argument is called the increase argument and this argument is updating the variable every loop so the you start the first loop the value is 2 and then the second loop it adds 1 to the value so in the first argument you build a data type and you analyze it with our value the second argument is the condition and the third argument is the update argument and only the first and the second argument you shut down with a semicolon so you can leave the third argument blank then you place brackets there and inside the brackets is the loop body pin mode and inside pin mode we place the variable i and we set it as an output just like we do over here so if i is 2 it set 2 to an output if i is 3 it set pin 3 to output and then i write down in the serial monitor the action we have done and the value and then we delay for one sec i copy the loop with the control c i go beneath the mother loop and I built a function called set LD on and I place the loop in there and all I do is I'm gonna change the body from the loop and I set here digital right I and then we delay for uh, 200 milliseconds and what this does it set a pin too high then it loops and 
Then it becomes pin number three. And set pin three high. It loops. And three becomes four. And then it sets pin four high. We write another function to set the LEDs off. But uh, this time we write our for loop. And we start at number six. And we decrease to number two. So we write uh, the keyword for quotations and we start with int and this time we call it g just another character and we give it the value 6 semicolon and g and now we have to use bigger than sign 1 semicolon and G minus minus and the third time no semicolon just leave it blank brackets and inside the loop we write digital right G comma low the semicolon and we delay for 200 seconds and up here in the big mother loop we write set LED on and now we delay for 750 milliseconds and we set LED off and we delay for another 750 milliseconds and we upload it, open uh, the serial monitor and watch the LEDs over here. So the first loop we're going to do is to set the pins to an output. I press on run and you see that it's setting the pins to output. And then it starts looping, setting the LEDs on and off. So that's how you can use a for loop. I will put a link to the code in the description of this video so you can play with it. There is another way to make a loop inside the Arduino language and that's with the while loop. And to show this I will build another function to set the LEDs on. So set LED on with while and make the body. In the inside the for loop we have three arguments and a while loop has just one argument and that's the condition. So the first argument you have to set before the while loop. So we start with our data type like int a and we give it the value of 2 and then we type the keyword while and inside the while loop we write the condition and then we make a body. The body is the same as in the for loop so we can copy paste that but this time we have to update a otherwise we have to make this a as well Otherwise, we set a to the value of 2. We let the Arduino loop as long as a is not bigger than 7. But if we never update a, then the Arduino will run forever. Because it will loop and then it will check and a is still 2. And in the next loop it's still 2. So we have to update the while loop inside the while loop. A plus plus. And this function does exact the same as this function. Only another way of, of writing the loop. So if we update set LED on with while. And run the sketch. Now you'll see that the uh, while loop is doing exact the same as the for loop. And if I slow it down and play it uh, step by step in the simulation software, then we are on this line. It sets the value to 2, so pin 2. And 
if I click on this yellow one, it jumps in the while loop. It's still too, as you can see over here. It sets the pin high. You see it's it's high. It's adding one, so it's three. And it goes to the next cycle. Four, five, six, and now it's jumping out the while loop. And there is one more action you can do with our while loop, and that's called a do while loop. And in that case you do a action first. And then you are checking a condition. So over here we are checking a condition. And if the condition is true, then we're doing the body. But in a do while loop, we we first do the the body and then we're checking the condition. And to show you this, I copy this function, Control C, and place it beneath. And in this case, we write down here below the int, we write the keyword do in a close up uh, blue. And then we copy from here, from the bracket, to this bracket the body and we place that there so we do our body and we do the update as well and then we are checking the condition and over here we place our sim icon so that's the the body from the do while loop but we have to change this function name because it's exact the same function name as over here so we have to make this a uh, do while I like to put in there an, arg an argument and we call that input and we set int a is input and just to show you what is the difference between a while loop and a do while loop because if I put in the argument the value of two it will do exact the same as this function but if I make this a value of 10 then it will do this first it will set pin 10 high and then it will increase 10 to 11 and then it will check the condition and that's a huge difference with over here because over here we are first checking the condition so if a is 10 then it never will run the body so uh, inside the mother loop call the the with do while function and the argument I set to 7 and run it and over here we have one LED left and we give it the value of 7 and we set the color to uh, red and if we go in here click on the function and it takes the input and at the next step it's, it's doing the function so it's turning on the LED and now it will go to the condition and in the next loop it jumps out the loop because it's done and it will delay and set the LEDs off okay. so that's uh, the do while loop uh, this is uh, the end of the video I hope uh, it wasn't too boring uh, leave a comment if it was helpful please uh, subscribe to my channel to see uh, more upcoming videos about Arduino in the next video we're going to talk about interrupts please subscribe and thanks for watching